My name is Karen Logan. I'm a nurse consultant and head of continent services at Gwent Healthcare NHS Trust. In 2008, I won the Nursing Standard Nurse of the Year Award, and it certainly has changed my career. To see her on the stage was lovely, and um, it gave us all a boost, actually. Everybody was really excited that Karen had won. It was good for her and good for us all, really. It's given a real lift to the team. It's given a lift to nursing within this organisation, and it's made everyone feel fantastic that we've got a winner. I had no idea what an impact this award would have um, on myself, on my career. I was really surprised um, at the result of, of winning the award and what came afterwards. Karen has always been enthusiastic and ebullient and since winning the award that's been a, there's been an opportunity for other people to see that. And all the opportunities she's had uh, she's taken that as a chance to talk about patient care. So it hasn't been about Karen, although Karen's benefited, it's been about patients. And good nurses care about their patients and that's what comes first. When Karen won this the year, um, I was immensely proud of her. And I sort of proud of myself because that's something special, I think, to have the person looking after you and your needs to hold the title of Nurse of the Year. I think for anyone who thinks they're just going to go along and, and get a certificate, they need to think again because uh, the following day I was whisked off to the BBC studios to feature a, on a live interview on the Daily Politics show. We have been joined by the Nurse of the Year, Karen Logan. Welcome to the programme and congratulations. It was a wonderful opportunity to talk about my speciality of nursing. I don't think any of us actually realised the high profile of the Nurse of the Year Award. Karen's been out and about and everyone's been talking about that she is Nurse of the Year. And it's been fantastic and it's opened so many doors and given her the opportunity to meet the Prime Minister at number 10. Oh, when Karen met the Prime Minister, it was a real highlight, actually. Uh, we were all delighted for it. We were so proud of it. It was absolutely amazing. I just felt like I was a little part of history and it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Since winning the award, I've been invited to speak at almost every nursing and medical conference in relation to continence care and neurology. I was even asked if I would allow myself to be nominated to be on an all-party political group for continence. I was invited to the Royal College of Physicians annual dinner, so I never expected anything like that. I didn't. I really was quite shocked. Nurse of the Year is such a wonderful thing for nurses to be engaged. In. But to actually win, winning changes your life because it opens so many doors. But for your patients, which is why most of those nurses are there, it changes what we can do for patients and that's got to be good. I think just being nominated is a fantastic achievement in itself. To go on and win the award is just amazing because it gives a real morale boost to the team. Everybody feels really proud when they have a Nursing Standard Nurse of the Year. The world's your oyster afterwards.